to 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 the moon. I, I, <laughs> I got to sing. I got a copyright last time. To 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 the moon. Huh? You don't get a copyright for singing it? No, nah, not for singing it. Okay, go ahead, girl. Get it. Get go it. ahead, girl. Mm-hmm. What up, though? Heist Man the Foe and Charlene the Foe right here with another episode of Talk That Talk Ghetto Reviews. We talking about RuPaul Drag Race episode, what, seven? You asking? I, I expect you to keep up with that. All right. We, we right back in the mix. Let me get some glasses. I look cool with glasses. Do I look cool? No. Seven, season 12, episode seven. Season 12, episode seven. Authorized Man, let's get right into this shit. Um... First of all, what I want to say about the RuPaul Drag Race is, um, Jan, yeah, I think I think Jan. Jan should have won this episode, man. Jan was doing her motherfucking thing. They um, I felt so bad. What was they doing? They was doing the um, Madonna. And they, then the Michelle Visage. M- Michelle Visage and um, Madonna. It, it was like the key people. Jan was pr- absolutely perfect. She. Jan may not necessarily be my favorite, but Jan works hard every single time, and she worked so hard, and she did so perfect, and it was it was kind of like disheartening to see that she didn't win this time. Yes. Not that Gigi didn't do well, because Gigi is perfection. Who, right. You know, Gigi, Gigi is the favorite now. Gigi is that bitch. I told you, y'all can go back and see mark my words, when the first time I saw Gigi, that's a contender right there. Right. But Jan did a motherfucking thing on this episode. I felt so bad for her. She deserved And you seen win. the heartbreak in her face when she oh, turned. It was God. over with. And who else did good? What's the, um, oh, uh, Jaden. Jada. Jaden. I think it's Jada Essence Hall. Uh, Essence Hall, yeah. She did real good, too. She brought the sex appeal oh, to the shit. Oh, she was so sexy. She sold that sex. She could she, smell sex in the fucking air like Rihanna. Yes, she, she did, that. did that shit. And Gigi. She should have been good. on the stage as one of the, uh, the top people. Gigi good wound up winning that episode. Gigi. Gigi, you're perfect, bitch. You know you're perfect. And right. she's such a sweetheart. Right. She's a good person. I, I, like, I, can, I just see so much in Gigi. Right. Gigi did real good. Um, who else did some shit in this episode, man? Cause this is, I think this was the best episode. It was a great episode. This was the we best episode they had. Hollering at the television, like. What about Gigi um, dancing? I knew Gigi was gonna pull it out. Uh, Gigi is a hard worker. I knew that she was gonna go back to that room and she was gonna push herself until she learned those moves. I was jumping up like, oh shit! She fucking killed it. She killed and that she shit. Embodied. Now I can't say that Gigi didn't deserve to win today. Right. I'm, I'm not mad at Gigi's win. Mm-mm. Jan was just perfect. I think Jan just, did better. She just deserved one. Jan looks was better. I don't know. Her, uh, Jan's, like, Jan, everything Jan did was Jan perfect. Jan killed today. it on them dance moves. She killed, Jan was perfect. Jan was killing it, man. Um, she did, but there was something that was so Madonna-esque about Gigi. When mm-hmm. She was in that blonde ambition. Right. She, damn, it was so close. But I think they should have put more emphasis on how close it was if they were going to give Gigi that win. What about um, Sylvester the Cat, a.k.a. Britta? I, I don't I, want to I, talk I, about people. Suffering, suffering. So I'm going to start off with a positive. I think Britta has wonderful body contouring. I think she transitions into a, a woman beautifully, the shape. So I want to say that about the positive. The negative is it's hard to fucking like Britta. Because she's a self-entitled bitch. <laughs> so you can't feel pity or bad for somebody who feels so so entitled to everything. Stuff and stuff and fashion. So, I didn't like... I'm glad to see her go. I'm, I didn't like the cone titty she had when she was doing the... If, um, do the, if she fought for the cone titties, bitch, if you gonna fight for the cone titty, you better pull out of fucking traffic cones. Right. She did not do a good job with the much colors, man, with the cone titties. She just let me down because what y'all don't know is, is that... I wanted to be Madonna as a child. So all these Madonna references right. like mean a lot to me. I fucking love Madonna. Mm-hmm. Uh, Madonna dope. To fuck, to fuck up the cone titties, man, you spit in Madonna's face when you fuck that up. You, and you begged to have it. It's not like they forced it on you. Right. And your she crotch did. didn't look right either, just to put that yeah. out there. I, I knew she was going to be at the bottom. I thought... Oh, what about um? What's my man name? With the um, with the, with the rhythm of the night. What's the dude? You singing the rhythm of the night? 
with the hair. Do, um, you want RuPaul want to fuck? <laughs> you talking about Crystal Method? Crystal Method. I think RuPaul want to fuck Crystal Method. Yeah. <laughs> RuPaul loves Crystal. RuPaul loves Crystal Method. I thought I thought RuPaul. Crystal Method and Britta was gonna be at the bottom this week. Oh. Uh, I like Crystal Method. Too. I like Crystal. I think RuPaul. She got a little Ru. special glow. I like Crystal Method, but I do think Ru has a little crush. RuPaul want Crystal. That's RuPaul his favorite. RuPaul want to fuck Crystal Method. Yeah, I don't give a fuck nobody to. Ru's married. Whatever. They had some. Um, they had some good judges all year, and they had some good judges this year too. Oh yeah. Oh, how can we not talk about Alexandria? Like Alexandra. The AOC boy. The like a- yeah. They had some great judges. I'm so glad to see her there. She's a real person. We need more representation. Like her, right? Like, don't forget it, about it, the grunkle. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I got this little um gunkle. It was gunkle. Gunkle. The I got gunkle. grunkle down here though. Gang, That's not. That's not gunkle. I loved it. Yeah, but when it came down to it, it the um, it was um Sylvester, aka Britta, versus Heidi in the closet for Heidi's dance for your life. Heidi is my fucking baby. I love her. Oh, I forgot to do you're this. You're beautiful, Heidi. I know you'll never fucking hear this, but you are beautiful. I wanted Stop to do this. Like I've been watching Review with a Jew. Review I, with a, I want to do we love Reviewer it. with a nigga. <laughs> that's your, that's your Miss Cracker. Yeah, that's my that's my Miss Cracker. Reviewer with a nigga. Because we fucking love Miss Cracker. I love Miss Cracker. But y'all, y'all know who I don't like. Kick your fucking ass, man. Like that motherfucking silky ganache. You're a silky fan. Stop playing. That's how I feel every time I see silky, man. But, uh. <laughs> Britta's the new silky for you, I believe. Britta the new silky. I, I'm starting out. I'm glad. Man. I'm glad Britta gone. Because I don't. I, I used to didn't like Widow Von Do like the first episode. But Widow, she ain't really did nothing to do nothing. But. Widow's. Br- I feel bad about Widow because she's bitter. Mm-hmm. She's become a bitter person a in bitter, her life. Think, a BBB, a, a bitter black bitch. Yeah, obviously some things have happened in her life that made her bitter. I yep. feel sorry. Find well, some joy in your life, baby. When it came down to it, it was Heidi versus motherfucking Britta, and Britta got sent the fuck home. Goodbye. And goodbye, Britta party. Good goodbye, Sylvester the cat. You will not be spitting on nobody. Yeah, this goddamn space. Right. But it was like I said, this had to be the best episode this year because they brought the they brought the dances, man. I, like when they were sitting there um, practicing for the dances, um, I didn't think they was gonna get, it, especially Gigi. Gigi looked it. Like I, I, I did, I had confidence in Gigi. But when Gigi started dancing, I'm like, oh, I shit. Had she killing the moves and shit. I was like, yo, I know them bitches. I know you bitches hate Gigi. I know y'all fucking hate her. She and like, and, and they still not showing fucking um, Sherry Pie. Oh no, Sherry ain't getting no. She had a little air time today. She had a she little. The, uh, they, she had a relevant conversation in the workroom. Right. And uh, they kind of had to show her a little bit today. Um, Yo, they they is getting they is. And black bottom. Fuck out you, Sherry. What did like? I mean, Sherry did what again? She was fucking catfishing young men and. Um, Were they and underage I, or something? No, they weren't underage, but she was being dishonest and putting it out there that she was um, an agent. And getting them to send inappropriate oh, okay. stuff to her. Okay, Cat, okay. Just some dirty, low-down bullshit. Damn. And you're paying for it. Like I, I, I want to see. Because Sherry is good. I want to see what Sherry I want to see what Sherry do. Because Sherry never at the bottom. I hate that. I feel and like Sherry I'm, is either always safe. Like, the top. Or the top. Man. I feel like we're being cheated out of part of the drag race show this time. We are. We're not seeing. Cause we, they cutting her out, this motherfucking shit. I, I still want to see. Listen, let us hate on her or, or not, like, on our own. You, you, you're cheating your viewers. I know that you're not, you're trying to take it away from her because she doesn't deserve the airtime. Right. But I want to see. Shit, I'm nosy. I want to fucking see. She been, oh. from what I see, she been killing. She's okay, not a, she's not a favorite of mine because I ain't really seen much. Yeah, she, her design, and she's not a beauty queen, no way. She's a camp queen. And she, I mean, as a queen, I, I like her as a queen. But, you know, what she did mm-hmm. isn't, like, I, I don't know. I, I, would, I wish she hadn't did none of what she did because I think I would have enjoyed her right. a lot. Right. I really do. I mean. And I think that she probably, I think that's why they put their disclaimer up there. They put it up there she, every week, too. I think she was one of the ones that was going to possibly be the winner. She's gonna be in the top. I think she was. I think she was top three for sure. But I'm saying it's like we're not even seeing nothing. It was like. Who do you think the top three is? The top three, I would say Gigi, 
Jaden, Essence Hall, and it must be fucking um, Sherry. But I, I, Sherry, but I think I Jan. Gigi, I think Jan and Jada. Jan, Jan, Jada, and Gigi. That's they. I think Jan. I would pick Jan a little bit over Cam, but Jada did so good today. Jada did good. Jada, Jada is the perfect. Like I've said before. Well, you say about the breastplate. Oh yeah, you can see her breastplate. You see the breastplate face. when she was doing That's the little sexy a little shit. Bit. You seen that? Other um, than that, she brought. Not when she was doing the sexy shit. She was perfect then. Perfect. Oh, when we talk about when she did the the, uh, the Michelle Visage uh-huh. look. Yeah. You could see the bottom of the breastplate. I gotta throw this disclaimer out there every week. I am a straight male who you loves to watch. Put the disclaimer, sir. I love to watch RuPaul Drag Race. Race. I think all of the um. They could tell by the way your um side your side hair doesn't connect that you're not a, a gay man because no gay man will respect the belief. I think every last like I think every last one of these drag queens are beautiful. Every last one of them except. Silky Ganache. Silky, you my girl. Fuck him. <laughs> Silky. Hey, you. I, it might be Britt up here next week. Britt done got on my damn nerves, man. We're going to do her like they do. Um, we, yeah, we're going to do we gonna Sherry. do Britta like they did black Sherry. We're going to blackball Britta. Britta, like, you would. We act like Britta did something to us personally. She didn't. She didn't. <laughs> and Silky ain't did nothing to me either. But. Motherfuck you, Silky. Oh, God. I swear. We're going to be in an event one day and she's going to see you and whoop your ass. Well, look, if Brittle whoop, I mean, if Silky whoop my ass, boy, uh-huh. let me some shit. Hey, that's a big heavyweight. I might not. I'm I, telling you, Silky whoop your ass. Silky might fuck me up. Hey, Silky, no beef. Right. <laughs> let me put my Silky face up there one more time. Oh, my God. You give. For somebody who, who doesn't quote, unquote. <laughs> Like Silky, you put give her a lot of airtime. I gotta fan. hate somebody. You a motherfucking fan. I gotta hate somebody. Oh, uh, I just wanna say again, Jan did a great job. Today. Jan did a. And Jan wish, was the best. Jan I won think both. Jan, got a Jan, Jan was killing them dance moves. Jan was perfect. And today. Jan had a nice the, the pink she suit. Didn't get, to, get to feel that win. Like I love Gigi. You know I love fucking Gigi. Right. And she didn't get to feel that win, and she deserved to feel that win. She was heartbroken. You see it yes. in her face, man. So she just, shit, she should be heartbroken. She deserved it. All right. Okay, then. That about subs it up. Yeah. Thank bye, you for, Britta. Thanks for coming out, everybody. Check us out next Howdy, week. My baby, like Britta. I said, if I get 100 likes, I dress and drag. Two, 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 two. If you get two, 10 two. likes, you finna dress and drag. I ain't dressing. I got them drafting no 10 likes. Season finale. Season finale. All right. Thanks for coming out and messing with us. Catch us again next week. Um, we're gonna do the same shit. We'll talk about RuPaul Drag Race. We went here last week because Miss Heist had an attitude. I had no attitude. I didn't. Want, I ain't even do my. I ain't even do my show. He wasn't his feelings. I, ain't, I didn't even do my show Friday, so I can't. Yes. I, I wasn't feeling it. But thanks for coming out. We see y'all again next week. Check me every Friday right here on the Heist Man the Four YouTube channel. Talk that talk every Friday at nine p.m. Come through, like, share, subscribe, comment. Some see me, Charlene the Four, and Primzilla talk that talk. Fuck with your boy. Peace. Hold on, I gotta get me one more silky in there. <laughs> Good night. Good night, everybody. Except you, Silky. Especially Pe- you, Silky. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Fuck with your boy. I'm silky jumpy, I'm jumping in. Again. Hey man, you been not help Silky fight I'm me. Helping Silky. Hey. You're not helping me. I got your back, Silky. Fuck him. Fuck with your boy. Peace. Fuck you, Silky.